Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hello, I'm Beth Corley. I'm Beverly Simmons. And we're co-presidents of International Twins Association. We welcome you to the 44th Annual International Twins Association Convention in Kansas City, Missouri. Hello! Hello. Just me and that same little shadow. If I could only find someone who could sort of, I could sort of tell my little troubles to. You know, when it's 12 o'clock, what do we do? I, we climb those rickety old stairs and we never, never knock. What's the use? There ain't nobody there Nobody but me And my little shadow Why we're all alone And all the feeling blue Our organization is open to all twins, all multiple births, identical or unidentical. It doesn't make any difference who you are or where you come from. It's instant friendship. And you feel the warmth that everyone has for each other. Well, when we first got here, it was really surprising because there was about, there's, they said, registered 200 sets of twins. And we've seen a lot of them. This is Kent, Kevin, I'm Max. This is Carla, Karen, and this is Mother Sue. I'm Beth. I'm Ann. I'm Tina. I'm Raina. I am 76. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen with all these many twins before, I haven't. And it's great. My favorite ones are uh, Bibi and Beth and the two nuns. They're so cute. <laughs> okay, then um, will you want banquet tickets for Sunday night? Their characteristics are out of this world. They seem to walk the same way, talk the same way, and even their instincts are the same. It's just shocking to see so many all in one little coffee shop, kind of the scene double of everything. My first reaction was, thank God I didn't have a hangover. Believe it or not, we're twins. Yes, that's Donald. And that's Eric. And I'm astounded by this convention. We came entirely as a goof. And uh, when we read about it last year, we decided we should try it. But when we saw that we had to pay to get in, we decided to crash it instead. And uh, it's glad we did. It's glad, glad <laughs> very we crashed very educational it rather than paying experience. for it. <laughs> Some folks have been, you know, borderline hostile because we didn't look enough alike. We've been getting incredible shit for not being dressed exactly alike. Oh, God, alike. everybody so, wants us to put on the same clothes, which we may here. do tomorrow because we do have T-shirts just like this. All right. But if we do, it'll only be comping to peer pressure. I really don't understand the appeal. That's what is why I keep following all these people around. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it is a profession. I don't understand the glory or the joy. It's funny almost. It's something different than most folks, I think. It's just different. We mm -hmm. just have a different feeling towards each other. I think it's great. I mean, we're born this way. You can't make it any other way. I mean, That's right. <laughs> I don't think you can, can you? <laughs> we have something special. In this, at this time when we're at the convention right now is when we can show other people that we are have a special bond between each other. And uh, it's fun. It really is. These twins that are married to a set of twins, did you meet them? Yes. They're very close. Well, I mean, extra close. <laughs> We're the, the Richmond rich four. four. I'm LaVelda. I'm LaVona. This is my husband. Arthur. This is my husband. I'm Alwyn. And we're from Aurora, Aurora, Illinois. We have been attending the International Twin Conventions for 24 years. And we have been attending them for five years. We met our husbands at the International Convention in Springfield, Illinois. We contacted a set of twin girlfriends of ours and asked them to find out who they were for us. At that convention, which was in 75, we started to go together. In November, they proposed, both on their knees, 
both in unison, saying the same words. And we both answered. Identically, word for word, the same. And so on June 5th, 1976, the four of us were married in a double ceremony. At a small wedding in Iowa City, Iowa. We had 400 people and 30 sets of twins. We lived together in one house. R and L worked together at the same job. And my sister and I worked for an education publisher in Chicago. All four of us always dress alike. The boys dress alike all the time, and so do we. A lot of times, the four of us has matching colors that we wore at the same time. We do not allow an unlike garment in the house. Hello. Richmond Four. We are identical mirror image twins. This means we are on the borderline of being Siamese twins. And if one of us go grocery shopping, you don't see just one, you see four. And the four of us are usually in the kitchen at the same time. We all four have our hand in that cooking pot. Okay. Mm -hmm. The ring will be 108. Thank folks enjoy your stay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We feel we're very fortunate by having twin husbands. They're because just as close as we are in our feelings, and they love being twins also. We understand there's times the two of them will need to be by themselves, and they understand there are times when we need to be by ourselves. So although and we all four live together, we got room in the house where the two sets of us can get off by ourselves and talk problems over. We also lecture as twins on myths and facts about twins, and we put out a newspaper called Twins Sincerely Yours, which goes to twins around the world, which we hope will dispel the myth about twins that exist in society today. One most important conception that we're trying to dispel is that out of every set of twins born, one is a potential killer. This is not true. On Monday, we will have the farewell breakfast, followed by a twin judging contest. Now this is exciting in itself because it will cover all age groups from the very youngest babes in arms to the very eldest. We've had them from seven days to 93 years of age. Tomorrow's contest is going to be scary because there's going to be so many twins. Because it's quite an honor to win your yeah. age group. Because there's so many people that look so much alike and you think that everybody looks more alike than what you do. And you really can't tell they, until you get up there and the judges ask you questions and, and it gets really long sometimes because they just can't make a decision. Oh, what a job this is going to be. Now we're getting into the tough categories. We always enjoy attending the International Twin Associations conventions. We think they're a lot of fun and I know a lot of twins have great times at conventions. In our seminars, however, we stress some aspects of twinships that are often overlooked, like the parental exploitation of twins. I equate this to the stage mother who satisfies all of her ego needs through being a parent of the twins. They say never separate, always be together in school, always dress alike, you are the twins. We, we just don't think that this is very helpful to the twins in their later lives. Little ones sometimes suffer an identity crisis, little twins. The public or parents say, oh, you're not Judy, you're Janet, and, and confuse the twins. I can remember thinking, is there a real one of us and a shadow? I can remember looking in a mirror, this is my earliest childhood memory, looking in a mirror and saying, am I Judy or am I Jan? When our children were very small, one bumped her head and a knot came up on the other one's head. They've, they do things like this that, that, that just seem to defy normal explanations. And to say that they're individuals, two separate people, just does not seem right to me. The parents don't look ahead. Unfortunately, they're just looking at right now. It's great fun to have twins and, and look at our little twins and aren't they darling? And, and their pictures are always in the school paper and they're always chosen for things because they are twins. Someday this is gonna end. The judges select number nine. Number nine. We found that twins either loved being twins or they despised it. There seemed to be no middle ground whatsoever. And I think that the way the parents reared those children made the difference as to whether they enjoyed their twinship or actually hated it. Oh, our father never remembered our names. Our names are Terry and Jenny. He, he would call us twin. Twin. He'd say, hey, twin, twin. So we never really had separate identities. I think it was at the age of 23 when we uh, had rhinoplasties and asked the doctor to give us different noses. And all of a sudden we discovered that, gee, we're two totally different people. And, and my father panicked. 
he, he's really a very kind, wonderful person. But I think that probably the most momentous achievement in his life was having twins. And he was going to live his life through us, vicariously. My sister and I were the center the, of his the life. The focal point, the reason for living, we were, we were the be-all and the end-all. We won uh, the most identical twins at the International Twins Association conventions, and it was everything. Our parents very proudly displayed our twin trophies. We have clippings uh, of uh, newspapers, stacks of clippings that my father would always write and say, my twins won the most identical at the International Twins Association. Why don't you put them in your paper? We were very much into being one person. And at the time, it was fun, but then it was just the beginning of <laughs> Control, further control, but in, in more very serious ways, like in the, in the things we wore and in, in the things. Our father used to come home with a set of clothes that looked alike and said, this is what you're wearing and, and this is how you wear your hair and this is what makeup you'll put on. And, yeah, and, and, and if growing up, if one of us wanted a camera and one wanted a transistor radio for our birthdays, my father would say, you two get together and decide if you want two cameras or two transistor radios. And, and everything never, was alike, identical. And we, everything. And we didn't know to question because we were brought up this way. I've heard the, the terminology that, that twins are, are penalized because they're twins. I, I just don't believe that. I think they're very unique, and I think we're very blessed to have them. We feel it's God's greatest honor on earth to be a twin. Not everybody can be a twin, and not all twins can be identical twins. And we are telling society by dressing alike, this is our image. This, this is, is the way we, we want, want to do. be. Would you all slowly turn around, please? My father's rationalization in life was that if we didn't look exactly the way he wanted us to look, people, people wouldn't, wouldn't like us. us. So we went through life thinking people wouldn't like us unless we dressed alike and walked alike and talked alike and, and wore makeup alike and we got a lot of attention. We were two weird people walking down the street together. At school, everyone did make fun of us. And uh, Mom and Dad said, our father really said, uh, they're just jealous. They're right. just jealous. Our whole lives, we thought people were jealous of us because we looked alike and they didn't look alike. Looks like we're going to have a real job here. Now, how would y'all like to have to pick a winner out of that? Aren't they a great group? I think it's very important for parents to know that there are other children in the family too, usually. The children who are not twins feel left out. They feel excluded. And the, the twin's little brother, the twin's little sister. Always. And where's your twin? And, and uh, why are mom and dad so excited about the twins? Our older sister, who's 10 years older, became our babysitter. Our, our older brother, who was five years older, just became someone who happened to be there and uh, take, take extra time away from the twins. And my brother, uh, consequently, became, uh, at the, well, at the age of six, six, fell down a flight of stairs and injured his brain and had brain damage and uh, became mentally retarded. And whenever he would get upset about something in order to gain attention, which I'm sure he rarely got, he would pound his head against the wall have and have uh, epileptic seizures. So they had to put him away in, in an institution. Number 22. <laughs> Like until so recently, uh, we have been thinking as one and being one and uh, not total people, and now we are totally different. Totally different and are happy. You, and, and, and it's like I, I can see how people would feel if are you the again. best. Are you each other's best friend? Oh, yes, the best friend in the world. Right, in and we're way. different. <laughs>